Hey church family, I'm Debbie Park and today I'd like to share two verses with you that help me to remember the eternal hope that lies before us. Um, before reading these verses, I want to outline how Paul leads up to these verses in Romans. So he starts the letter by talking about God's righteousness revealed through the gospel. Then he describes the unrighteousness of all people and how we were given God's righteousness through the death and resurrection of Jesus. Now, because of that righteousness, by faith in Jesus, he describes our hope. In Romans 8, verse 18 and 19, Paul says, For I consider that the sufferings of this present time are not worth comparing with the glory that is to be revealed to us. For the creation waits with eager longing for the revealing of the sons of God. Unlike the church in Rome at that time, we may not be experiencing persecution, but we all in some ways have experienced suffering, whether in the past, present, or you will in the future. Maybe it's physical, emotional, or financial, but it's present and real. Paul encourages us, encourages us here by acknowledging that suffering, but giving us, us a glimpse into our future. He says that the amount of suffering is not even worth comparing to our future glory. There is no comparison. Creation is personified in this verse to emphasize the wonder of the future of God's children. In the Screwtape Letters by C.S. Lewis, the uncle demon is writing to his nephew demon and tells him, The humans live in a time, but our enemy destines them to eternity. He therefore, I believe, wants them to attend chiefly to two things, to eternity itself and to that point of time which they call the present. For the present is the point at which time touches eternity. The two things which are certain are now and eternity. My encouragement to you is to focus on your glorious eternity where there will be a resurrection of the body and a new heaven and a new earth and most of all, a place where we will see Jesus face to face. I pray you enter today with an eternal focus, eagerly fixated on the future glory with Jesus. Have a great day.